water, get my coffee, cut my pile of knits, um, time to chat. Hi, my name is Peyton, welcome to Sweet Pea Knits. Um, basically, this is going to be, sorry, I got distracted about like, you can hear, I'm on my dining room table and you can hear like, and we, it's like has flaps that are down on the side that move like that to make the table bigger. <laughs> They're really easy to hit and they make noise. Um, so maybe someday I'll, I'll, I'll switch up the positioning of this. Um, but right now I'm not going to move it. I don't want to. This is going to be a video podcast of all of my knit stuff. Um, I love watching these videos um, all the time. And I figured that I should make one for myself, cause why not? It's a little fun little, fun little thing. Yeah, right now you are perhaps precariously up on one, two, three, four, five, six books. And that's the height. And then behind you is my water bottle. Um, hey, if it works, it works, you know? Um, what should I, should I like jump into it or do a little bit about me? I'll do a little bit about me. Uh, <coughs> my name is Peyton. <laughs> I am 22 years old. I am currently a student um, in my final semester of school going for graphic design. I have been knitting for eight years, eight years, nine years. I taught myself my freshman year of high school um, 2018, 2018, which was 2016, I think. But I had a my my algebra teacher my freshman year of high school knit um knitted, and so I decided to teach myself. Um, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, she actually knit a pair of mittens for each of her classes, and then like each individual class, and then in each individual class, she did like a drawing of all of the names and whoever name she picked um got the pair of mittens um and my friend got them and but I she knew I really wanted them so then she gave them to me and I still have them they're upstairs um so it was really sweet and funnily enough that same friend uh, um encouraged me and pushed me to actually do this I mentioned to her that I was I had been thinking about it and she was like do it maybe she's sick of hearing me talk about my knitting She's not. Um, she crochets. Unfortunately, I'm just kidding. Um, but yes, um, I, what else about me? There's a little bit of a tangent about my high school. Um, I am married to my wonderful, amazing little husband, my love of my life, the love of my life, um, who also encouraged me to do this. Um, I, and we welcomed our first child, our first baby, our son, um, in December. Um, so he is a month and a half old. He is upstairs sleeping right now. So I figured I should take this time to actually sit down and do this. My husband's at work. Um, in his office, his ob at the office, um, he does have the ability to work from home most of the time, but he does go in twice a week, and I'm too embarrassed to do this <laughs> um when he's home so which i know he doesn't mind like he literally doesn't care at all um it's just me it's just like a me thing so we're doing it right now when he's not home and my baby is asleep okay um so let's start what i'm wearing i did not make this sweater i got it from a 13 instagram red pine supply um red pine supply <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I got this from her Instagram. She thrifted it. I bought it from her. I did not make this. And I, it's not handmade. It's like there's a tag from like, it's like Land's End or something like that. I don't know. So it's not that exciting. Um, so let's start then with finished objects. Um, this is my most recent finishing. It is the... Okay, I have my notebook that has my notes and then my iPad in case I need to go on Ravelry or something like that. 
Let me just get to the page here. Um, okay, so this is the Field Day Cardigan by Ozetta. <laughs> I'll just put it on over this. Um, it is a DK rate weight. I used Universal Yarn Superwash Deluxe DK in the color Cavern. Um, this is the first cardigan that I have knitted and I love it. Um, I loved, I thought I was going to hate the process because of the purling. I didn't. I really enjoyed it. Don't know why. Hold on, I need to get a drink. I might go fey fey. It was a very clear pattern. She had a lot of video help and like the way that she worded it just clicked with me. Um, so I loved the process of this and I loved reading the pattern. I would probably do another Ozetta pattern. I loved this. Um, it also taught me that I really enjoy DK weight yarn. Yeah, before this, anytime I were to buy like a hand dyed indie like dyer or like just one skein, 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 skein sounds right. One skein, please. Um, when I were to just buy some, cause I only really buy one at a time. I can't, I am not in like the market to be buying like exorbitant amount of hand dyed yarn. I love it, but you know, that's just how it is. Um, anytime I would buy one, I wouldn't know what to buy. So I would either do fingering weight in hopes that like I'll make it into socks, I'm not a sock knitter or like worsted because that's like the thickest without like the heaviest weight without getting to like bulky or Aaron Aaron territory Aaron yeah Aaron um so because I don't love the look of those super thick and bulky ones anyways um so this is this um coffee stains love that um it's I will say I love my button choice. It's their, he's like mother of pearl, like thick, not thick, um, wide, big, large diameter um, buttons. And I think they just go really good with this color. Um, oh, I do wish it was a little bit longer. I'll stand up again, I guess. Um, just a tad, like to here maybe, which I definitely could have, which I definitely could have just done that since it is a hand knitted garment. I knit it. I could have just customized it however I wanted. But when I was knitting it, I was like, let's just see what happens, you know? Um, yeah. Um, what else? About the yarn specifically. Um, also, I... Hold on, let me check what size I did. If I even took note of that. Size large. Um, and I have... About a 42 inch like bust or like widest um like chest circumference if that gives you any sort of help or clue as to i don't know positive ease and stuff like that um about the yarn um it's still a little scratchy for me i do have a slight wool intolerance um i like knitting with rustic stuff this is not rustic but side note, I like knitting with rustic stuff. I just don't like wearing it. But my husband likes to wear it. Um, like he doesn't care. So, yeah. If I do have an inkling to knit with rustic yarn, he just gets, I, like, I just knit something for him. You know. Um, so this is a little scratchy for me. And it is pilling in some areas. Um, I'll see if I can find a spot. Like... Like, you can kind of see it. Maybe you can't. I don't know how cameras work. This is just on my iPhone. Yeah, you can see it there. So, it's very minor. Um, But I just, I haven't had this finished for that long. Or this is even, this is on, like, the back. Maybe you can't see it. JK, I guess. Yeah, it's not even actually now that I'm looking at it a bit closer. Mostly just out of the arms. 
where like the not the seam but the decreases are you know and which is that's a very common spot to get filled in so that's okay god man i tell you oh, oh happy valentine's day by the way i'm filming on valentine's day so that's the <laughs> This looks, this is really good. That's the field day cardigan by Ozetta. That is my only finished optic for today. And now I'm gonna cut the cameras. I'm losing my mind. Okay, I took a little break. Um, and now we're back. Okay, so I have three main whips. We're getting into the whip territory now three main whips and then one that I kind of work on. It's my on the go project. Um, so let's start with the on the go project just because it's like just casual. I don't have much to say about it. Um, it is a scarf. The yarnery is just my local yarn store. Um, so I get a lot of my stuff, not all of it. I got out. Um, so this is it. It is pretty short. It does not look like a scarf. Um, and now that I'm like here, I'm kind of wondering if this length is gonna work out. Um, Cause I already, this is one, one full red. Let's back up. Let's back up. So this is a scarf. I really wanted a red just thick, long scarf. Let me bring it a little bit closer to show you all the magnificent little colors going on in there. <laughs> you see that? Okay, so this is, so I did three by three ribbing, three by three ribbing, which I think is cool if it didn't like scrunch up so much. So we'll see how that blocks. Ideally, I can get it to be like this without stretching from blocking it. Let's see. Okay, so I am using a size US 6, three by three ribbing for like 18 rows or something like that. And then I'm just doing moss stitch for the rest. Um, knit one, pearl one, and then alternating, you know. Um, I got the red yarn. It is Plymouth Yarn DK Merino Superwash in the color red um and i bought this from a local yarn store up in duluth minnesota called the yarn harbor um i actually i like to go to yarn stores as like a way to get a souvenir almost when i travel um so i got this i got three balls skeins 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 got three three of these i don't remember the yardage um sorry which will come into play when i talk about the length and then this mohair, this is mohair. Um, I bought it from my local yarn store, the Yarnery. It's Malabrigio, Malabrigio, Malabagio mohair in the color Diana. I think it's, I was a little unsure about these two when they're sitting next to each other, but the way that this is looking, just like knitted up, I'm just like, it's so fun. I love it. I love it. Um, length. So this is already one whole thing of the red ones. You can see right there. Um, and then about however much of this one. And I only have three. And it. I kind of wish it would be a lot longer. <laughs> um, let's see how much I can block it. I love to aggressively black things. I love it. Moving on, because that's really all I got to say about that. In hindsight, I should have gone with a bigger needle size because I'm using DK weight and that a recommended needle size for DK is a US 6, but then I added a mohair, so I probably should have gone up to like US 8 or something like that. I don't know what the millimeters, like the European sizes are, sorry, put that there. Um, the next one, we'll do the next smallest one. This is a shawl. It's my first shawl. The Linya shawl by 
Brangen, Brangian, Kaylian. I'm so sorry. I probably could have figured this out before I started. That makes me look bad. So this is the shawl. <laughs> it's little and it's curving. Um, I don't know why. Is my eye cord binding too tight? Potentially. Uh, let me get a close up. Did what it looked like close up. It's really neat. Um, can you see like the slip stitches? You can. Um, the yarn is by Goosey Fibers. It is their Gosling base in the color Druid. This is what it looks like caked up. It's very cool, very moody, witchy. Same with the red scarf is also like witchy vibes to me. Um, hold on. Hold on. Here it is like this. Very cool. I don't know how well the colors are coming up. Anyways, so that's that. Um, I don't think I have much to say about this. Um, I'm using a US4, which is, which is a recommended needle size for the pattern. Um, and I got gauge with it in garter. Um, yeah, it's pingling weight, so it's kind of slow going, at least for me. Um, it's very pretty though. I'm gonna start alternating the rows. Um, since it is hand dyed, variegated, and like an increasing changing stitch count, yeah, um, a big part of mine is like pooling where you like see like the stripes and stuff. I just, it can be cool and some people don't mind it. I do. And that's that. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that this curve will block out. Once I get to that stage, obviously I'm not very, obviously I got a ways to go. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool little um, thing, my like motif. Sorry, I thought I maybe heard the baby. Um, you use slip stitches and garter stitch, and it's just it's just fun. Um, I bought four skeins, 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 four skeins. <laughs> I'm gonna do that every single time. Four of these because they were on sale, and I was like, I'll just buy her out. All of the druid in Gosling. So I did. And I got four. So. Okay, my next one. Let me get this all out of the way. <laughs> don't look at that. Um, don't. Uh, my next whip is for my husband. Um, it is another scarf. Um, it is some, like, kind of just, I'm making it up. Oh, wow, this is really long. Nice. Um, I'm not making it up as I go. I did at the beginning, but I, I figured it out now. Obviously. Um, so yeah, so it is it's kind of fair owl design. I did not come up with this design. I found it on Pinterest. I don't know who came up with it. You know how Pinterest is. Um, but so I have just been following it and obviously alternating the main color after one section. Um, I'm knitting it in a tube. My plan is to just close the ends, like sew the ends together once I get there and then block it um, to get it more even. Um, Cause you can tell like it, it gets tighter, like loose, tight, loose, tight, loose, tight on like where the color work gets a little bit more, like more going on. Um, yeah, so if you didn't know, these are um, Minnesota Gophers colors um, for the University of Minnesota, which is my husband's alma mater. Um, and we like to go to tailgates a lot, so I, and they can get quite chilly. So I was like, I'll make you a scarf and gopher colors, gophers colors for you to wear tailgating. Um, yeah, he picked out the colors. 
um which obviously i could have done because i know what their colors are but he just did um because we went we went to colorado estes park my cousin got married there um this summer and so what uh, and then i made my whole family and um, my husband go to a yarn store it was called peak to peak stitching um it was really cute um there were some lovely ladies working there as soon as we walked in they greeted us and were like hey I liked it. Um, my family was just like, they just found a table and they sat down and like that was my, let me do my thing. Um, so these are the second like round of buying. So I bought the original balls from peak to peak. Then I ran out of them, but it wasn't as long as I wanted it to be. So then I ordered these from Universal Yarns, which is the brand they, it is the Universal Yarn Deluxe Worsted um, in the color Burgundy and Spice Rustic. Yeah, this is um, a pretty scratchy yarn, pretty, I don't know, sorry, I'd say rustic, um, but it's, it's scratchy. Um, he picked it out and I was like, do you want this as a scarf though? like isn't this a little like next to your skin you know neck and he's like yeah it's like okay like we can find the same colors just in like a softer yard but he thought it was totally fine so i said okay that's what we'll do so that's what i've been doing i am using a us seven i do not do a gauge swatch i just cast on i think 96 stitches um because that like he said he liked this, like, width. Um, and then obviously, like, I'm gonna block it, like, flat. And so then it'll, like, just lay like this more. Um, in retrospect, I should have cast on in multiples of 10 and then 2 because the, like, the stitch pattern, um... The repeat section is in is ten stitches and then a two extra stitches like stitches at the end. So oh well, because I was like, well, I'll cast on. I was like, there's twelve stitches in this whole pattern, so I'll cast on twelve. Um. So then at the start of the, so you can see like at the start of the round, it doesn't line up not even just because of like it's knitting in a like a site uh spiral I, all i could think of was the word cyclone um which i guess would also work um so yes because of that and then also it's just the i kind of messed up in the cat and how many i should cast on and the all that so yeah but just chugging along on this. It's not my favorite thing to knit on, so I kind of got to force myself. But every once in a while, my does husband does ask me when that when it's going to be done. So then I'm like, okay, I'll get it done. So, and I'm just gonna knit until these run out, and then I'll be done with it. Like I'm not gonna. I just hit my chandelier. Um, I'm not gonna. It's pr it's longer than I thought it was. It's not quite my wingspan. If I stretch it, like I would blocked, it would be my wingspan. Um, but he's taller than me, so he's a little bit of a bigger wingspan. And I don't know. I just, I like really big scarves. I don't think he cares how big it is. I could be done with it. And he's like, thank you so much. I love it. Um, but then I also have this leftover yarn that I'm not going to use for anything else. I could make him a hat. Like a matching hat. Debit may be fun. So this is the scarf. Okay. My next whip is my main situation. My next, like, my main whip that I'm working on the most. Um, it's I love it i love it i love the pattern i love the yarn i yeah so 
It is the Koyame by Joanna Ang. Um, and yeah, so this is it. So right now, I don't know how well you can tell what's going on. Um, kind of just looks like a plain raglan, but I assure you it is not. What uh, a few details I love about this. I love this little like pearl row, sorry, pearl. I love this little pearl row that happens in between the collar and the rest of it. And then you have this beautiful cable pattern that goes all the way down the sleeves. Oh, it's going to. Um, and so that is so fun. And a pretty standard raglan increases. And then for the underarm, like this bit right here, it has the, these cables or like this little itty bitty guy. I love that. That's just so cute. And then, and then the, it goes straight into like so perfectly aligns, of course, um, and fits with the hem, which is made out, up, out, which is made up out of the same cable pattern. Like, look. Not the same one that's on the sleeves. I gotta stand up. You're too far away. You're not getting it. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the hem, which is the same stitch, like, cable as this, but just repeated. Like, are you kidding me? Like, instead of doing an all ribbing? I love that. Yeah, so... I did, honestly debated not doing this hem and doing a regular ribbing. One, because I love a tubular cast off. Um, it's like my, if I'm ribbing, if I'm doing one by one ribbing, I'm gonna do a tubular cast off. Um, I love the way it finishes it and the way it looks. I don't mind the time. I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of soothing just doing that. Um, anyways, so I debated not like just doing one by one. So I could do a tubular cast off and because I'm like, are you serious? A whole, the whole, however many stitches this is, the whole body in cable, excuse me. I was like, that's going to take forever. And it is not taking me as long as I thought it would. Um, and I also thought it was like, I love this, that detail. Um, I, I, I just need to do it. Like, I know I like it. So and plus, I love how it, like, flows so, just, like, perfectly. Like, aligns so well. Love it. Um, the Koyame by Joanna Ang. Just a beautiful pattern. I was scrolling on Ravelry, trying to find a cabled sweater. Because I have some Erin Waite woolly knit wool cones. Um, and I'm like, I did a swatch with that. And I was like, this is just begging to be a cable knit sweater. And I started one. I started the Moby sweater with it. I got a good chunk of the way through it. I, should I grab it? I'll grab it real quick. I have everything for it in here, which is my friend from Denmark got it for me. Um... It's all folded up because I have had it folded up. Where did I miss? I made a mistake. I think it's right there. Huh. So I started this. And I was knitting on it when I was pregnant. And I knew I didn't know how long the body should be because I had a bump. And so I was like, everything's a crap top. So then I was like, I'll just put it down until I don't have the bump. And now I don't know about it. I made a mistake in the cable. You can see it, I put it in the wrong spot. That's just gonna bug me every time I look at it. Um, and I really don't wanna go back to try and fix it. That sounds like hell. Sounds awful. 
Um, yeah, and then other various mistakes. Mostly no mistakes, which I was surprised about. Um, the other mistakes I don't really care about. Like, I think they're fine. Um, like, this was when it joined in the round and I just kept knitting instead of doing, instead of switching between purling and knitting, alternating. This tiny little bit. Well, it's on like, oh, so cute. It's on like every part of the sweater where like that little motif is, but it's tiny, so it's okay. Anyways, I just don't know if I see myself wearing this when it's done. And so then I think, what's the point? Um, maybe I should block it and then try it on, but still. I don't know. Anyway, so I was searching for a cable knit pattern for this yarn before I had cast this on for the yarn itself, for this guy. Um, and this guy. Um, and I found the Koyame and I was like, this is gorgeous. But I knew it was not the pattern for that yarn. And so I was like, I'm gonna make this. I just gotta find the right yarn. Um, which I did, but I just love how feminine this is, how like delicate, how I just, I think it's so cute. I love it. Um, plus it's so light, this fabric. Um, it's a pretty big gauge. Um, the original, which I am not on gauge. The original gauge was 15 stitches and four inches. I am doing 17 um, on US 10. <laughs> And the recommended was US 8, I think. Hold on, let me see if I can, I'm just gonna check real quick. Okay, yeah, so I have a 17 stitch gauge on US 10. Um, but the, the um, recommended was 15 stitches on a US 8. So, um, but yeah, and then the same with, I I met Gage with the US 10 with the cable pattern. So I was like, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. It'll be probably a little bit smaller than anticipated in the pause, but it still will have positive ease. So I'm knitting the size five and I again am at like a 42 inch bust. I'm not gonna try this on. I don't really feel like it. Okay, now the yarn. So funny story. Well, no, we won't. Let me hold on. Let's back up. The main yarn that I'm using, this like white queen cream, excuse me, is um Barocco Ultra Wool DK in the color Queen Cream. I purchased this from the yarnery. Um to pair with the mohair. I got the mohair first, and then I was like, I just want a cream or a light icy blue. I'm glad I went with the cream. Um, I love this. I love it. Like I said, I love the, sorry, that was the chair, <laughs> the cushion of the chair. I don't know if you heard it. Um, like I said, I love this pattern and I love this yarn. Um, so this is Sorella yarn, mohair in the colorway. I love snow. Um, no, Chloe, I smell snow and it's from the Gilmore Girls collection. Um, it was, this yarn was my, oh, I just look at this. It's just, it's beautiful. It's just like angelic and ethereal, you know, all those buzzwords. Um, this is what it's like caked up. Oh my gosh, don't, this is so embarrassing. Just. It looks very gray here. Um, it's not, it's pink and it's blue. It's very cotton candy-esque. You can see it in person. I don't know if it'll come up on camera. Just go to her Instagram, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful yarn. So I, it is a Christmas gift from the love of my life. Um, my husband, 
he bought me this yarn for Christmas. Um, which it was a surprise. I love surprises. Um, so he would not tell me what to get. Um, and I did not like ask for this. We had a big whole debate on like themed yarns. Um, cause he was like, how can you theme yarn around Gilmore Girls? And I was like, you just, I don't know. Like you just, you can just do it. And he was like, well, I get like theme yarns around Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. Like they have very strong color associations with those characters and like the scenes. And I was like, and I was like, you know, I think you're only saying that because you know the Lord of the Rings. People could say you like people who know Gilmore Girls would say the same thing. And he was like, mm, I guess. I'm like, whatever. Um, but I do, I do think like if you, it's silly to buy a colorway, a colorway yarn, just because you like the theme of it. Like you just because I, you can do this if you want. Do whatever you want. For me um like i you don't i wouldn't buy a yarn that is like my favorite char characters colorway colorway just because it's my favorite characters like i would gonna buy the yarn because i like the actual way that it looks if that makes sense it does make sense um and i also when it comes to hand dyed yarns um, just because of, like, the price point for them, which is valid, like, I'm not, like, com like, I'm not complaining about it, it's, like, whatever, <laughs> like, that it makes sense, like, it makes sense, I'm not, that's it, that's all you gotta say about it, um, I'll only buy it if I know I can't get that same color, like, cheaper, I guess, which sounds bad, and I want to support you guys, I want to support you. I want to support you guys, but it, that's just, I don't know. Anyways, however, I can still admire and I do that a lot. Um, so Sorella came out with this collection, which I was excited about. I love Grimmel Girls. And this particular colorway, I smell snow. I just fell in love with I it was like by far my favorite and I went back to it just to look at that the post of it I can't tell you how many times and my lovely wonderful husband who I'm so in love with <laughs> um noticed that noticed me doing that and he, he noticed that this one was my favorite and which I'm is this bare minimum is this I don't think so I don't think it is I think like he could have because he knew he was gonna get me yarn he could have just bought any yarn like he could he, like he doesn't know yarn he did like he so he hasn't he wouldn't know like what to pick from scratch I guess um but he noticed me admiring that post countless times and he was like, that's what I'm going to get her because she wants it. And he knows I would never buy it for myself. Or if I would, I would only buy one. And that is like, not almost, not pointless, but almost pointless because how many hats do you need? <laughs> how many hats are you going to make? Huh? Um, anyways, hot takes. Um, so he bought it for me. And I love him. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so I knew that this was going to be very subtle. Like, showing up. Um, if I were to hold it with a cream. And it's um, very feminine. But it's angelic, ethereal, all those things. And what did I say? When I first found this pattern, I loved how feminine it was. So I knew that that yarn needed this pattern. And that's how I chose. And you can just see the subtlety of the color, of the variegation and the colors. And I just, I love it. I love it. 
it's so I that's all I have to say about it I love it now obviously that's not all I have to say about it because I've been talking about it for how long but the too long didn't read of it is I love it I love this pattern and I love this yarn and I cannot wait for it to be done well because I want to wear it so bad so yeah that's that Oh, okay. I'm gonna take another little break and then we'll go into acquisitions. Okay, I'm back. Um, took a pretty long break. Um, I don't know if the lighting looks different at all. No clue. Don't care. Um, I took a long break because the baby woke up. The babe, Mr. Man, woke up. So I had to do that and now he's back asleep again. So we are back with acquisitions or plans just things like that um here's really where i thrive as a knitter okay is buying yarn and planning okay that's what i love um i will always have something new and something next up in the queue i will it and then by the time that i get ready to cast on a new project it's gonna be a different thing okay first of all let's start with um, I'm going to start with, I have this labeled in my notes as alpaca yarn, and I have it labeled as such because the yarn is alpaca. Okay, so first I order, I did not order, I bought this in person at a craft fair in my hometown, and I bought seven skeins of this, okay, of this 100% alpaca yarn. That is, I have this one caked up, it's just this really pretty brown deep brown rich brown color okay um a hundred percent alpaca a hundred and twenty five yards in a skein is what I measured um I also measured this as worsted slash Aaron um these are people I got it from is that backwards? <laughs> um, Dave and Roxy Smith from Mystic Water Fiber Mill. Um, they are located in Wisconsin. Um, they have no website, no Instagram, nothing like that. They have a phone number and an email address on here. Roxy's personal email address on their business card. I love it. Um, so this was, this, so I got seven skeins, 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 every time, every time, got seven of them. They were originally priced, this is all that the label says, $12 alpaca. I love that. Um, like I love that the label is so chill. Like that's all it says. I don't know. I just, um. So originally $12, which already I feel like it's pretty good. And then they also had a sale where everything was a third of the price. So this was not, or something like that. It was, I don't, in, in total, I spent $50 on seven skeins of alpaca, 100% alpaca yarn. Not bad. Um, so I, I thought that this would be enough for a sweater. If the idea is that, if the thought is that they are 125 yards in one thing, so 125 times seven is 875 yards, which for me, the fit that I like and my size is not a sweater's quantity. Um, unfortunate because I don't want to call them to get more of this. Also, how am I gonna... Yeah, it's the deep, warm brown coat. Like, I don't... Like, well, how am I gonna do that? I don't want to. So, I'm not going to. Um, so then I was kind of stumped. Because originally I was gonna make the Harlow V-neck with this, is my thought. Um, and then I was stumped. It's like, well, I don't have enough for a sweater. But I have too much to make, like, a little thing, you know, 
and so alpaca so i didn't want to make like just a t-shirt or just like a tank top you know what it's not really like a summer yarn so then from my local yarn store the yarnery i did i bought this last night i purchased this alpaca yarn from barocco which is a dk slash slash worsted weight i believe um which this is worsted slash Aaron, so that's my bad. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> so my plan is to probably just do a striped sweater, maybe like a color work, stranded color work sweater. I don't know. Um yet I'm not finding anything on Valvery that is jumping out to me. Either for striped sweater or not. And I could either striped sweater or like a collar work design that is worsted weight. Um, I could still make the Harlow V-neck um, and just add stripes. I don't know if I wanna try and figure that out, I guess. I am not one to do a, mo a ton of modifications in my knitting, so. Um, and I bought five of these for nine dollars a piece so it's about 45 dollars on this on five and then 50 on seven so you know maybe i should contact them and just get all my yarn from them lol um so yeah so if anybody has like a pattern recommendation for what i'm talking about with this let me know comment down below because i am unsure okay next this is just like a whole bunch of different yarns um so the next thing i'm going to talk about is this i just am really excited about this look at this look at how fun so this is mary and athy yarn um she's based in germany i found her on instagram um, this is the Colorway Kaleidoscope in the worsted weight. Um, it is 100 grams per 200 meters. Um, it's pure merino superwash. Um, I only have these two. So I was a little unsure about what to make because, again, not a sweater. Sweater's crummy, obviously. Um, not even like a t shirt. Because um, at 200, oh, 200, 400. Like, say I were to make, well, the Tulsa, the Tulsa tea by um, Rebecca Clow is DK weight, I think. So I could probably figure out how to do it with this, but, you know, um, with like a worsted weight. However, the, I only have 400 yards of this, and I think I need like 800 for the fit and the, i've done the math before because i again i do a lot of planning i look at patterns and then i look at their like recommended ease and the yardage for that size and then that's how i kind of like in my head it all makes sense and then i am not alone in that obviously you need to figure out your yardage and or meter edge so i was and again i'm like how many hats do you need like i could turn this into at least one into a hat and that would be cute um or like a pair of mittens um and i think like a like a ribbed hat maybe like a half fisherman's rib would be cute maybe i will but then my other thought is to do a color work sweater stranded color work with like one of the colors in here and i think i would pick this green like a nice pickly green I think would be a lot of fun. And I, but again, I'm not finding a pattern <laughs> for, for, that I like. Do I want to come up with my own? Not really. So I don't know how to do that. I have thoughts and ideas in my head for patterns and sweaters. But I like don't know how to find them. And I don't know how to do math in any capacity. So that's where I'm stuck. So I have this um, color work sweater in a pick with the main color being a pickly green. And I think just like, just the yoke, like a circular yoke. And that would 
be the only part with color. Again, if anybody has any recommendations, let me know. Um, the next thing, let's see. I also have this, like, to hold together. I've made a pair of socks with this, and I still have this much. I don't know what to do with it. Anyways. Um, oh, JK, I also have this of this. So I don't know what to do with it. It's, um... She used to be the Yarn Addict Co. Little Fiber Company. Um, Candlelight and Boho, I think, are these two. I don't... Candlelight, Boho. It was from her, like, house interior design collection. Really pretty. Like, I love... I think this is so fun. I just... Didn't know what to do. Also, I think I'm... I don't love mohair. Close the skin. Like, I should probably start getting Surrey instead of, like, a silk Surrey instead of mohair. Anyways. Do, 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 do. And again, this is also from... This is not who she is anymore. She's now the Little Fiber Co. Um, this is Faux Fur in Mouthwater and Mohair. And this is Dried Roses and it's Fresh Fingering. And I was planning on holding these together. Four pair of mittens. Don't remember what it's called. I wasn't planning on talking about it right now. Um, I guess if I keep this in, I'll add the like a picture of the and all that. Anyways, but I think it'll be kind of fun together. A again, this is from the house collection. Any of these colors from the Little Fiber Co. She does not have anymore. Sorry if you really like them. Okay, now this one is what I was going to talk about. Was what I was planning on talking about. Um, again, same stuff. I've had this, these, like, the little fiber coat, the yarn addict stuff in my stash for, like, two years. Um, kind of want to use it up. So this I have, this is Scandinavian. And this is cashmere, which these two, she designed them to be together. Um, maybe a Musselboro hat. I've made one before. Uh, my husband stole it. That's totally okay with me. Um, so maybe this, because this is a mouthwatering mohair and then fresh fingering. Um, so this would turn into like a DK weight. I don't know. Um, so maybe a muscle borrow hat. Maybe. Because I did just find some this really pretty, like, royal blue yarn upstairs. Um, that's bulky, and I was like, maybe that would be a cute, like, good hat. Anyways. So there's that. Those are my, the things in my stash that are really kind of, like, I don't know what to say. Call it like, well, you know, when you like get some extra money or like when you have money that you know, like you can spend it on something fun and then you're like, oh, it's burning a hole in my pocket. This yarn is burning a hole in my stash. Burning a hole in my pocket. I want to use it. I don't know what for. Also, another thing, um, I want, I found this sweater. The Cloudy Day Sweater by Surrey Knits. Um, I think it's so cute um, and very fun. I really do want to make it. I just don't have the yarn for it. And you say, what if, what if you use yarn that you have? And I say, back off. Okay, first of all. Um, but any, no, but anyways, it's a, I believe a DK weight. Um, and none of that stuff is DK or none of it. I would have enough of like if I were to hold stuff together um and the recommended yarn is Sandiscarn Double Sunday which I could do I mean that's not Sandiscarn isn't super expensive um 
yarn um but i was also thinking about do using drop stazy which is supposed to be a dupe for santa's going double sunday however i've heard drop stazy pills a lot um i specifically want to use this color of drop stazy this like mint greeny color i don't know um yeah so anyways I forgot, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Oh, if anybody has used Drop Sunday, let me know how it's like. If it does pill or if it is like Double Sunday. If anybody's used Drop Stazy, let me know what it's like. Did I already say that? Anyways, um, I think that's it. A lot of my stash is random stuff that I got for free. So it's unlabeled random quantities random co like fibers random whatever so um i find it hard to plan to use that that's just kind of like a fun little thing to say um yeah i think that's all i have for today this was fun i i thought it was fun i love talking about knitting i love talking about yarn well, if you've stuck it out this long, thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to me um, ramble about yarn and about my knitting. Um, oh, I will link all the patterns that I talked about and the yarn that I talked about in the description. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Sweet Pea Knit. Um, on Ravelry at This Sweet Pea knits or the sweet pea yarns or something like that i'll put it down in the description i am not like the most active on either but i would say i'm more active on ralvery oh if you like this and you want to see more like subscribe comment all those things um yeah thanks for hanging thanks for chatting uh see you next time